Very happy today as my girlfriend Ilva and our friend Tina join me aboard Nautilus. I spent the last two months working at an outdoor bar in Zurich that showed the European Football Championships. I also took the chance to catch up with my friends who hadn't seen me much in the last year. I went on a little road trip with Jenny and Vera through the Swiss mountains, enjoying the summer, jumping into every lake and river we could find along the way. And finally, I went to Sweden to see Mom, Dad and Julie at our lovely summer house. I came over from Biarritz, where I currently live and work as a freelance sportswear and graphic designer. After four years, I'm finally back in Oz, and I was frothing to explore the islands, the Great Barrier with all its fish and coral. Day one took us from Early Beach to Sid Harbour. The sailing was pretty smooth, and on the way we already spotted the first waves. We set anchor quickly, took the dinghy to the beach and hiked up the Whitsunday Peak. After a one hour jungle hike, we reached the top and man, that was so freaking rewarding. That's amazing up there. After enjoying the view for a while, we made our way back down and found those fresh water pools. Ideal for a sneaky skinny dip. Some bad weather with strong winds was heading our way, so we decided to wait it out in the safe haven of Gilnari Inlet. Along the way I showed Tina some basic sailing knots, and we also stopped at a little island to have a walk on the beach. Vernon took the chance to play with one of his favorite toys, the 3DR solo drone. We got a fair bit of rain in the next few days, but we made the best of the situation. Playing games indoors, baking banana bread, yoga sessions, and essential beauty care. Girls down here slaving away with gloves on and cooking and baking. In the afternoon you'll be out there cleaning the rails with the stainless steel. No, in the afternoons you'll be cleaning the rails and we'll be doing yoga. Alright. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Collaborative cooking on the Nautilus. During high tide, Tina and Vernon took the dinghy out to explore the mangroves of Gonari Inlet and set some crab pots. Oh, it's not a crocodile. It's a log. Oh, 
Oh, look back on. It had a perfect shape. <laughs> what did you see? Did you see a crocodile? <laughs> After two days of bad weather, we head over to Hamilton Island to get some supply, ice cream and a hot shower. Someone from the marina came out and guided us to our berth. There we also filled up the water tank and topped up the battery. passage up to Whitehaven Beach. Vernon loves this ship. Me, not so much. Having fun? Everyone having fun? Yeah. At least it's nice to know that the boat can handle pretty much any weather, even if I can't. Having said that, I actually really like roller coasters and things like that, so maybe all it needs is a little bit of a change in attitude on my side? So leave your thoughts in the comment section below and please subscribe to the channel. There'll be another video coming next week. So uh, see you there. Bye bye.